Hi everyone, welcome to Karen's Corner and to another Creative Wednesday video. Um, today I'm going to start a project which I've been planning for months and months now. Uh, you've seen me making these little cards, some of my favorite things, and I really love doing this, but at the moment I just don't have much time to uh, be creative, so I haven't done any of these. And uh, But that doesn't stop me from starting a new project, because I'll have time in a while, and then I'll just finish all the projects. So. Um, I've had this for a while. These are really huge playing cards. And look at these. And for this project, I want to make an Alice in Wonderland book. And I wanted to make uh, a book with only the heart cards. The heart cards. <laughs> and maybe, now that I see it, this might be a nice cover for my book. Because it's also hard. I don't know. I want to make little scenes from Alice in Wonderland. I, I don't know what yet, actually. Okay, so I don't know really if I want to put a ring in here or make a little book with rings all over. Uh, I don't know yet, but I want to make an Alice in Wonderland book with playing cards. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I want to have the Queen of Hearts at the end of my book because I'm gonna work on this side and then you can see these on the other side. So I'm gonna start with the King. So this is going to be the card I'm going to work on. And I've been thinking, what shall I do? What shall I do? I've been collecting stickers and yeah, now I really want to make a sticker book with Alice in Wonderland stickers. Because guys, I've been collecting this for a few months. Stickers and I've got these nice, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, I'm really looking if I can see it now. Um, it doesn't say, you know, the, the, the clubs and the, and the hearts and the diamonds symbols <laughs> uh, i've got these this i bought this for one euro so i've got these little dies that i can use and i've got stickers as i said and i bought this book in amsterdam with lots of pictures which you can't see by now uh come on pictures and um i thought i might use this book and i've been reading it again and i really love this story and because i've been collecting stuff and reading it i'm kind of into alice in wonderland now and I really kind of want to collect it. Let me just show you the few items I bought. Okay, let me be honest. I've got this one. I didn't buy this one because of this. I already had this one. Look how great that looks. I'll show you my favorite page. Wait, put this aside. This book I had for years. Look how awesome that is. Um, yeah, so when I started collecting Alice in Wonderland things, I thought, I do have a book, but I can't put that in here, but I do have a book. Nice. So I looked it up and I was very happy that I had it. And then we went to Primark and I saw these socks and I thought, oh, that's cute. Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I kind of bought them. So I'm going to wear these. And then I thought I also have uh, Alice in Wonderland tea because we went to Oxford and to the Alice shop a few years ago. And I just thought it would be nice to have... Uh, Alice tea blend because of the tea party so I kind of started looking at stuff I had and you know buying little items but these won't go in this book so why why do I buy them so then I bought Alice playing cards and these are really cute but uh, these are too cute there's a picture on every card and I don't want to use them so they go into my collection collection by now so then I bought these on Aliexpress and they're really fake and but they're awesome there are more of these um, yeah so by now you can actually say that I'm an Alice in Wonderland collector because I've got lots more which I'm not showing you right now and it all started out with collecting stuff for for this book because I liked the idea that these are huge cards with hearts so um, to be honest, uh, my birthday is in a month and I asked for a nice Alice in Wonderland figurine, which is so pretty. And I saw in the Disney store nice Alice in Wonderland stuff. And okay, have you seen my Dutch Kitty fan channel? I'm afraid there's going to be another collection. <laughs> I might start an Alice in Wonderland channel. But enough about that. Just wanted to let you know what something like this can do to you, well, to a collector. Anyways. So then I thought I want to put all these stickers, I've got more stickers uh, in my Alice in Wonderland book. But then I thought I can also make a little book with just stickers. Because I love stickers. So all those str strains of thoughts, how do you say that? All those thoughts that I had 
um, they all came together when I saw this book uh, in a bookstore in Amsterdam. I go there twice a week now and uh, there's a bookstore and they had this one and I thought it was so pretty. So I bought it and I also bought the Through the Looking Glass uh, book, which is almost the same but then in red. And um, I just loved it so much and then the idea came to me you know what, I'm gonna buy another one! And that one I'm gonna use! I'm gonna use the pictures, I'm gonna use the paper, the the words, and I'm gonna use the front cover. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is always difficult, I think, to just rip apart a book. <laughs> but this book I just bought twice, it was on sale, and now I have to do this Ooh. without breaking it, actually. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's not as easy as I thought. I just want to rip the cover off. Like that. Ha ha ha! So, it's wrecked. Ha ha! I did it. So now I can use this the way I want. I want to put this on the card. Where's my card? So, I just do this. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland's Adventures. And I found this picture. Actually, this picture. Um, somewhere in here. Where is it? Over here. So I want this page. <laughs> I don't really like doing this to books, but oh well. I've got two of them, so it's okay. So this I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna do lots and lots of projects with it. But that's for later. So now I've got this picture and Ellis in Wonderland's Adventures. And guys, with this I'm gonna show you. I'm going to put this on here. And this is, uh, I think I'm gonna do it like that. And this is gonna be my sticker book. My Alice in Wonderland sticker book. I'll just put it on there and I'll just show you. It has nothing to do with this project, but I just wanna show you. Look what I did. I love the fact that it's actually the same color. So now this is gonna be my sticker book. My Alice in Wonderland sticker book. So I've got these stickers. Which I'm just gonna stick on here. <laughs> this is so nice. I love playing with stickers, as you might know by now. So this is really funny. So I'm not gonna show you me sticking all these stickers in, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I've got lots and lots of Alice in Wonderland stickers and I'm gonna put them in here. So I have to think of other things to use on my cards. <laughs> so sticker book is going away, but I've got an Alice in Wonderland sticker book. Now I'm a real collector. Okay, on to the cards. So what I thought would be nice, if I can find my book over here, is to put some pages with just uh, words. I <laughs> love that one, it's so creepy. Uh, this one doesn't have any pictures. Okay. I'll just stick them on here, just like that, and tear parts off. I'm just gonna tear it and stick it on here, and then I think I might give it a color. Uh, it's a bit boring to show you, I'm just gonna stick it on with glue, so. Well, finished. So I just cut out two pages and I tore edges off and glued it on. You can still see the card through here. But now I want to give this a bit of color because I want to put this on here and first I thought I'd color in this page but then I thought I'd like this black and white and give this a color but how do you do that um, I can go over it with some watercolor but this is really absorbent paper so I don't think that'll work so then I thought I have this pencil which has multiple colors blue and I have no idea if this is gonna work well, how do you do that I just start somewhere and maybe it's because the other book is blue, but I just wanted to have blue. So I've just been going over it like this. And, and turn it a bit and go over it like that. To be honest, I don't see the special effect that well on here, but maybe that's because it's uh, it's got letter on it, I don't know. But uh, I like it. And uh, I'm just gonna make it a bit darker. So I want to put this on here and I have to tear this really carefully because I only have one of these. Okay, I can do that. 
And I kind of like these words, so I might use that. It says, but I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. I think I'm gonna put that one bit over here. Or maybe, how do you know I'm mad, said Alice. You must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. I really like that part, so let me just see if I can use that. So this might go over here. I don't think this is dark enough. So, here I go again. I colored it and I really like that. Maybe I'm gonna do the edges a bit darker, like this. Okay, so like that. So I wanted to put the text on here, but then it's just the whole page again. So I think I'll use this for another page because I really like this uh, the quote about roll mats. So I'm gonna save this for later. And I think I'm going to put this over here. But now the question is, do I leave this white? Or shall I just give it a little bit of color? Decisions, decisions. I've also got these that I want to do in the corner. Little hearts. Or maybe just all the colors. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make this one red or maybe pink. Nah, a bit red. Let's see how this works. Well, it has to work because I don't have another one. <laughs> yeah, I have another book, but I'm not gonna tear that one. <laughs> so, you know, you always say Alice in Wonderland, but it's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. You know, I didn't know that. I like that. So I'm not gonna stick it on yet because uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I want to cut some of these out. So uh, I'll just get my stuff for that. Okay, so well, I'm gonna take my diamond press and I've got this cute Hello Kitty uh, pencil box. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know the words. Uh, I'm just gonna take an, a new one to be sure. So I've got my folder and I've got this red paper, which I thought would be nice. So put this in here and put the heart and the diamond shape and maybe a little diamond shape and a little heart shape. <laughs> Let's just put it in here. Push it. Oh wait, I have to secure it. Push it through. Let's see if this works. I'm back again. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, right, where's my pokey tool? You know, I've got a needle somewhere over here. Works just as well. So, <laughs> works just as well. Come on. So I can put this on here maybe, and a heart over here. So now I want to take a piece of black paper and back again. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? The thing I like to do with lots of my projects. So just do this. This little border so much and I think I'm gonna do it twice. So that looks better. So I'm gonna start off with just gluing these to the paper. So I'm gonna use this glue and that's always a challenge for me because I glue everything together including my fingers but it just works so well if I can get it out. <clears throat> so number one. Okay, this looks nice, and then I want to put this on here, and this on here. And then what? There's still something missing, but I just don't know what. I thought I might color this, but I... No, I kind of like it like this. Or I should could color the tree, the, the leaves a bit green, but... Hmm, maybe that's not a bad idea. Green. 
I'll just color in the leaves just a little bit. Okay, so this looks better, guys. I just colored it in with a bit of green, and that's enough. So now I've got these stickers. I have got this set. I think I bought it on AliExpress. And there are lots and lots of little flakes in here, sticker flakes. And, oh, well, this is actually a nice one. I want to put some on here because this is too empty. So... A yellow one, no, that's too yellow. And Ellis. No, she's already over there. You know what? I like these two actually. So I'm gonna stick this on here. And it's easy with these two. Just put one here and one here. And then I'm gonna use Mud Podge to glue this on and just put a layer of Mud Podge over here to make it. Uh, a nice sturdy cover for my Alice book. I really like this. So um, let's get all these little things out of the way. <laughs> and a piece of paper, some mud potch. Yep. And then I'm going to glue this on here. So I'm gonna go over it with a layer of mud potch anyway. So I can do that right away, actually. Okay, so now I can stick this on here. And I'm just gonna go a little bit over the spade. And put some mud patch over that. Um, I have to get the wrinkles out. one over here and I'm just gonna let it dry and let's see if it works and I'm all sticky oh. so let me just take this off of this because <laughs> I know myself I'll glue it onto this paper I'm gonna let this dry and see well what happens I think it's finished. So guys, it's the next day and I hope you can see it all right because it's a bit darker than yesterday. But look at how this turned out. I really like it. So this is going to be the cover of my book. And here you can still see the king. And uh, well, there's going to be lots more. <laughs> and um, I'm not sure how to do the binding yet, but I'm just going to leave that for when it's all finished. And then I'll um, I'll think about how I'm gonna do that, but I really, really love this one. So this is the start of my Alice in Wonderland book. And I keep saying Alice in Wonderland because everyone does. It's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland book. And talking about Alice's Adventures, I uh, um, started sticking stickers in here. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. <gasps> I really love this. So I've got these flakes, so I'm gonna do something with that. On the next page and I've got lots more stickers and I'm gonna be on the lookout for Alice in Wonderland stickers so oh, this has a bit of the same theme <laughs> but anyway I hope you like this video I hope you like my Alice in Wonderland idea and uh, I hope I find the time to finish these quickly because I want to do more of these too oh well and um, if you can send me packages of spare time <laughs> free time time to be creative then send it to me i'll leave a link below no that's just nonsense okay <laughs> so i hope you like this video and my idea of a little alice in well little of a alice in wonderland book made out of huge playing cards if you did then please give me a big thumbs up i really appreciate it and uh, leave a comment below uh i don't know just leave a comment below if you want to say something <laughs> Uh, and if you are not already subscribed, then please subscribe. And um, we'll see you next time. Groetjes from Holland. Bye.